morning everyone and happy Saturday. My name is Callie and this is another weekend of Clarinet's Cats and Coffee. And as you can see, today I've got the big boy here. Uh, my bass clarinet that I got last summer that I've really been enjoying the past year. Um, so some of my students have come to me um, they've switched over to bass clarinet and they're like, wow, I, I can't play high notes. Or every time I play an A, my bass clarinet squeaks or G sharp or B or any upper clarion note. So today I'm going to give you guys a few tips and an exercise that you can do to improve your handling of the clarion register. Before we do that, I want to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you like this content that I am posting weekly on YouTube, please consider supporting my content by going over to Patreon and becoming a patron. You get lots of cool perks like an entire index excerpt book of all of the etudes that I have posted on my channel since the beginning of time. In addition, we do a Q&A session once a month. We've got one-on-one -on -one meetings and all kinds of other stuff. And patrons are always the first to get PDFs that I post here on YouTube. So it's a really great community there and I hope to see more of you. All right, so bass clarinet. Now, if you've been searching around bass clarinet stuff on my youtube channel you'll see last year i did post a video on getting started on bass clarinet and so i recommend that before you do anything with this go over to that and check it out and if you're still having trouble with high notes then watch this video and try this exercise okay so assuming that you've got an instrument that works and it's not leaking everywhere one of the big problems with bass clarinets can be a leaky register key and so what i would say is before you start contorting your face and doing weird air stuff make sure everything is lined up lined up my bass clarinet sometimes gets a little bit out of adjustment because i don't always put it together perfectly right in the bridge key here and so what i'll do is i'll just play um, or I'll just finger a few notes in the lower clarion and make sure that the register keys are switching where they're supposed to on each note. So just double check and make sure everything is lined up and that nothing is leaking. Um, the other thing is you wanna make sure you've got a good mouthpiece, read ligature combo. So I really like the Van Doren B40 for bass clarinet and I use three and a half traditional reeds and the ligature is the Van Doren uh, leather ligature. So I'll put links below in the video if you are interested in getting these. Okay, so you've got a good setup and you're playing and you've got the whole embouchure kind of figured out and you're playing with enough mouthpiece and, and you're still having trouble with the high notes. So the first thing I'm going to suggest is that you make sure that you really take in a big breath of air. And I know everybody is going to say this to you, but it's so true. Without proper air support and without really big breaths of air, you're not gonna be able to play much of anything on bass clarinet and you're going to create tension. So if you find yourself clenching up here or in the back of the throat or clamping with your embouchure, things like that, see if just taking a humongous breath of air will help you out. So my suggestion is taking a nice deep home breath. So if you imagine the word home, in reverse. All right, so nice big home breath. So once you're doing that, the next thing you wanna do is make sure that you are really whooshing your air forward from a deep place in your body. So one thing that I like to imagine on bass clarinet is that my sound is coming from right here. So I breathe from there and I produce my imaginary sound from right here. And for whatever reason, that visualization really helps me out a lot in producing a well-grounded, well-supported, full forward sound. All right, so you've got the air, you're taking good breaths, you're blowing properly. Now, the other thing that is tricky with bass clarinet that's different 
in some ways than regular clarinet is itchy nose is voicing okay so it's a bigger instrument it actually has a much bigger range than regular clarinet so naturally we're gonna have to do bigger movements with the tongue position inside of our mouth so if you've been doing a lot of low playing on bass clarinet and you're voicing low so you're thinking more of an O sound in the low register <laughs> then you're probably going to have a little trouble in the upper register if you don't make any adjustments, okay? So, low notes, think O. Oh. Mid-range, think ah. Lower clarion, think A. And upper clarion or altissimo, think almost like B flat clarinet, E. So, O. Oh. So the higher you go, the higher the tongue gets. And the higher the tongue gets, the faster the air should be. So that faster air will create the vibrations we need to get a good sound from the instrument instead of a big squawk or honk or squeak. I find the clarion register on bass clarinet to be a little bit touchy. So part of learning how to play this instrument is just knowing how it feels to sound good in the range on the instrument. and. Like, I didn't pick out the most perfect best clarinet, bass clarinet in the world. So my instrument is a little bit uneven in some places. So I have to make adjustments with my air and embouchure to make sure that notes sound good from going one to the next. So the, the clarion register, if, you, if you're tense and you overblow, you're gonna squeak. If you're too relaxed and flabby, you're gonna honk. So you gotta figure out the right balance of all of those things to be able to produce a good sound. So my recommendation is this, okay? So try this exercise. I'm about to play it for you. Choose the note that is the highest note you can play with a good sound and practice doing chromatic intervals, widening the, widening the interval every time you do the long tone passage until you're able to do an octave with a smooth transition from note to note. It can be very, very difficult to do if you're not used to doing this, but it does, if you do it slowly, it does give you the opportunity to really feel the differences between each of the notes. And in that way, you can internalize how these notes feel and how it feels to go up to the note. Once you get that down, go up to the next note in your range and go up higher and higher and higher and do the same exercise until you've expanded your range to the point where you want it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you. To get to that point, I spent many hours in my past actually working on that. So I would recommend be patient with yourself. And if one day you spend, you know, 15 minutes just getting the first like four notes to sound good, that is okay. Come back to it the next day. You're not gonna forget it. Just make sure you review this every day and you'll internalize it and get better and remember it and be able to switch to bass clarinet and play those high notes with ease.
So I hope you guys enjoy practicing this and I hope it helps you out in expanding your range and making high notes feel and sound a little bit easier. If you are part of my Facebook group, be sure to record yourself playing your favorite auxiliary instrument and post it up in the Facebook group. If you're not a member, I have a link in the description below. So I hope to see more of you there and I look forward to hearing you guys on your bass clarinets and whatever else you happen to have in your clarinet library. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good weekend this week, a good week next week, and as always, happy practicing.